judge, Levi Richter! Oh, nice name for Richter's That scissor knee is just so nasty. This has been a battle royale. Richter's has hit him with everything he's got. He's known as the Slovakian giant, Tomas Mosley. Look at those heavy hands. Yeah, he's got good knees, too. He's really well known for his high kick. Oh, what a knee. Ladies and gentlemen, we next turn our attention to the heavyweight ranks of glory, a contender bout scheduled for three three-minute rounds. This European big man makes his return to the glory ring for the first time since Glory 69 in Dusseldorf. This bout, Tomas Mosny and Levi Richters. Tomas Mosny! Levi Richter! Victor's is really good with his kicks. His right hand, those are the two big weapons. Yeah, I'm loving those body rips, that shoe shine to the body. Executioner, Levi Richters. It is now top. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, this heavyweight contender bout is scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, standing on my right and fighting out of the black corner, a two-time European and Grand Prix champion. His record stands at 20 wins with nine losses, one bout scored even. Six of those 20 wins have come by way of knockout. At six feet seven and one half inches, 2.02 meters, he weighed in with an official weight of 262.8 pounds, 119.2 kilos. Fighting out of Poprock, Slovakia, here is Tomas, the Slovakian giant, Mosny. His opponent fighting out of the white corner, an Abu Dhabi heavyweight champion and two-time world champion. As a professional, 12 wins with just one loss. Five of those wins have come by way of knockout. He stands six feet, six inches tall and even two meters and weighed in at 250.4 pounds, 113.6 kilos. He fights tonight out of Utrecht, the Netherlands. Ladies and gentlemen, here comes the judge, Levy Richter. The third man inside the glory ropes, your referee, Yusuf Akne. Fighters. Fighters, you know the rules. I want to clear the fair fight. Obey my commanders at all time, protect yourself at all time, okay? Touch gloves, take a step back. Levy Richter has told us he's actually dreamed of fighting against Tomas Mosny. He said before he came to glory, he would visualize fighting all the top fighters. And he fight. knew that he would one day fight. have to clash with the giant. And the time is now. Tomas Mosny in the blue trunks, Levy Richter's in the white. Mosny coming into this fight feels like his power is going to be the difference, that he's the stronger fighter. Amazingly, not a ton of knockouts for Mosny. 30 fights, six KOs. Game plan of Richter's looks like low kicks, and that was actually oh, that a hurt half him. kick. That hurt him. 
The fight changed just like that. Break, stomach. Just as I mentioned today that we don't see calf kicks in kickboxing. I'm already seeing two fights use them. The evolution. And to my knowledge, Mosty cannot fight out of the southpaw stance, so he's just gonna have to hope that left leg holds up. But the one thing we know about Mosny, he doesn't go down very easy. But if you can't put weight on that left leg from low kicks, you're in trouble. You gotta start blocking those. As Richters is really going after that lead calf. How can you prepare your body to take the calf kick? Well, it's a slow buildup of learning to take them. It's just like the quad. Kickboxers, quads, you know, are very hard to finish because we've been taking kicks there for years. But the calf, we're not used to getting hit there. It's a different range. The best way to defend it is to either slip it or turn your toes out on a 45 degree angle. Again, Levy Richter's going down to the calf. It's interesting because Levy told us, hey, low kicks will win me this fight. He didn't say calf kicks, Joe. Yeah, well, they are low. <laughs> as low it as you can go. It's considered a low kick. But no, that's a good strategy. You got to think, when you fight someone really tall, I mean, those calves are wide open. And the beautiful thing about the calf kick is you kind of throw them from a further range. You don't have to step as close in, which means you can kind of stay away from big power punches. Right behind the ear, lands Levy Richters. Well, you'll know what Richters is doing. The head kick's coming. It's just a matter of time when he feels it's ready. That left leg is going to be minced meat by the time this fight is over, unless Mosny can change something. And the other strategy for Mosny would be to pressure. I mean, it's very difficult to throw low kicks if you're on your back heel a lot, so Mosny wants to avoid them. He's got to go. For Richters, I think it's a lot of fainting, like fake the punch and then chop the leg like he's doing. But Mosny does a good job from all his previous fights fighting backwards. Big grimace on the face of Mosny as he sat on the stool as we take a look at Levy Richters, the number five heavyweight in glory right now, nicknamed the Judge. He did win that four-man tournament right out of the gate, but then he would enter, he'd be entered into another four-man tournament, losing to Tank Kababez, who we'll see in our next bout tonight. It's a fight he would like to have back. Oh, yeah, it'll, it'll definitely happen. Where Mosny, the giant, he loves his head kicks, but Today, it's going to be very difficult because he's got another tall guy in front of him. So if I'm Mosny, i got to get those straight punches going. But his face in this corner doesn't look very positive right now. But right away, good timing on that low kick. As soon as Mosny jabbed, Richters went to that calf kick. And the nerve that runs along that calf, it doesn't take too much. It's almost like a liver shot. Once you find the button, it's over. Fight. So, what does Mosny do here? Well, I think he just pressures and gets his hands going at this point. If he moves backwards, he's going to keep eating those low kicks. So, pressuring forward, getting the hands moving. And if you're going to eat a calf kick, you better drive that right straight down the middle. Oh, and an inside kick sends Mosny down. That leg is not going to hold up the entire fight, I don't think, Joe. Well, I think the key here now is, one, can Mosny take much more? And two, how can Richter set them up? The things about calf kicks and low kicks, you got to set them up very well. So we'll see if the 13-fight experience of Richter's allows him to finish that leg. Down again. The foundation Fight. has been compromised, no doubt about it. Levy could basically go on cruise control and win this fight, it seems. You can see the swelling on the left knee right now of Mosley. And Richter's just mixing it up now. He's hitting the upper quad. He's going down to the calf, inside leg, just damaging from all angles. And Joe, we've seen before when a fighter has a bad oh. leg as Mosley does up. Oh. Hey. Down again. That 
should be a knockdown. One, it is. Two. Low kick three, finish is my favorite. Four. Five. Six. Fighter. Seven. You okay? Eight. Hands. Fight. All right. Let's see if Mosley goes down in a blaze of glory. He's got to just let his hands go and swing for the fences. And again, what did we talk about Richter's, the next Rico? So he's probably picking up on some stuff from these low kicks and the chopping. But just calm and, I mean, my favorite finishes were low kicks and just seeing others put them in, I just love it. I still feel like a lot of the guys don't use them enough. This just shows how damaging they are. And we, oh, there he's down again. His corner might want to stop it. Two, three, four. For low kicks, no. Five, okay? No, Six, you don't stop him forward. for low kicks. Seven, eight. Well, Joe, what if he's throwing a ligament in his knee? You're going to let Levy just kick it up into row J here? Yeah. All right. Yes, I. Yes, you would. Okay. Because he does not want it to stop. There's another one. 32 landed kicks for Levy Richters. Yeah. There's he's another he's one. He's trying now. At least he's sitting down and whipping punches. That's what he has to do, at least counter back. If you're gonna eat it, throw that right hand. Get that right hand loaded. Well, three knockdowns in a round and that will do it. So, Mosny has to make it to the bell here. It will be stopped and he does. Nice replays from Levy mixing things up, chopping the leg. Like I mentioned, low kicks are all about timing, and you can see how well Richters is mixing them up versus the punches of Mosny. When Mosny's exiting out like that, he chops the leg. Or when you see Mosny circling, that's when he chops the leg. So excellent timing work from Richters. Well, Joe, it seems like the path to victory for Levy is pretty simple, is it not? Yeah, I mean, the issue which frustrates me a lot in all combat sports is when the leg is that hurt, a lot of fighters get too hungry and aggressive to try to knock out and hit the head. When the, the leg only needs one or two more shots, so if I'm Richters, continue to go back to the leg. Pretend Time. the rest of the giant Fight. doesn't exist. Use the punches to set up the low kicks. He is a left leg walking around. Yeah, it's too many times the inexperience of fighters sometimes. When the legs hurt, they want to punch knockout. When the calf is only one kick away. Well, you can't, can't question the toughness of Mosny. He was in a fight of the year candidate against Plotis. In fact, at one fight of the year back in 2019, where he's dropped a couple times in that one. But he made it to the end of the bell. And he's down again for the third time. One. Yep. He has two, one more shot here. Three. Four. Five. Can you continue? Six. Seven. Step forward. Eight. Yeah? Here Wait. we go. One more knockdown, and it's over. And this crowd appreciates what Mosby is doing. He's toughing it out. Oh. <laughs> Almost. Hey. Break, and that will do it. Knockdown one, number four. Two. Three, four, finish. Four. And that is it. It's over. The left leg completely destroyed by Levy Richter. He told us he'd win this fight on low kicks, and that's what he did. Well, he's the judge, but could also be the lumberjack. The way he chopped down the big giant was just clean, technical, didn't have to take any big punches. I mean, those are the types of performances you want as a heavyweight. That's the kind of performance he needed in the first fight of the four-man tournament. Yes. It's Tank Kababez, and he'd have no problem fighting Rico. Yeah, there you go. But he's got to feel good to get back after a loss, you know? But this is why we know how technical he is. You know, mix things up really well, stuck to a good game plan, yeah. chopped away a, a bigger, you know, heavyweight. It's. It's not the flashiest victory. I mean, the crowd's not going crazy for a low kick stoppage, but it's almost like American football, a team that just runs the ball nonstop and you can't stop them, and they just run you off the field. That's what Levy Richters did. Well, the fans might not be as excited, but I'm extra excited when I see low kick finishes. So you made me happy, Levy Richters. All right, hopefully we don't see many punches for Joe's sake in this <laughs> highlight package.
well, chop away, you know. And I really like that he went to the calf. Like I said, it's a valuable weapon that I think we need to see people use more. He did throw some big clubbing right hands, but it was all to set up those low kick finishes. Like I said, it was all about timing and distance. So as Mosny stepped in, his leg got chopped. As he tried to escape and move backwards, his leg got chopped. Here he's shown throwing a hard jab to set up the low kick. Lead hand, rear low kick is the way to chop. And already see, you see his jab being patient, hard jab, low kick. Like you said, basic, but clean, technical, and powerful. And again, credit to Mosny for going as long as he could until he got dropped for the fourth time. But in the end, the judge didn't need a jury. He got the win by low kick stoppage, and Joe Valtellini is sweating profusely over excitement. <laughs> All right, here's the final strike count, and Joe, let's focus in on the kicks. It is bright yellow for a reason. Yeah, because that's all I've been talking about, how much I enjoyed them. So, very good fight. Even his punches, they're showing nine punches. So, all of his punches, I felt he threw more than nine, to be honest with you, but the fact that he set up his low kicks was fantastic. Tim Hughes now makes it official. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an official time of one minute, two seconds of that third and final round. This bout comes to an end by way of the glory maximum knockdown rule of four in a fight. It's ruled a technical knockout. For your winner, Levy Richter. Well, Levy, Congratulations, man. This looked like it was all going according to the plan. Huh? It was the plan. It was the game plan. Together with my trainer, James Hart, with the low kicks. I knew it was going to work, and we did it. Yeah, it seemed that you, after, well, during the first round, you were getting comfortable every minute, more yeah. comfortable every minute. Yeah, that's true. We started slowly, and then we pick up the pace. After, the, I think, the second low kick, I saw he was hurt, and then we could finish it. Yeah, when we look at the stats, 44 of your 54 kicks landed. Yeah. It was yeah. unbelievable, an unbelievable yeah. amount. Yeah. If you train it, we train it so so hard to the low kicks together with my trainer, and it worked. Yeah, so you're, happy, man. you're number five in the ranks. What's next for you, man? You're a tournament winner. Who do, yeah. you, want, who do you want next? Well, uh, my goal is the belt, of course. But first, we have to work up to the top three. So that's the plan. I don't know who's number four, but I want the number four. And then one day we go for the belt. Awesome. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for your winner, Levi Richters.